know who it is, man. Side of Prince, Convict, Good Music, Def Jam, CKP. I know what I am, man. Side of Prince. In the building, this is 50.com. I, I first saw you, you know what I'm saying, a couple of months ago, you know what I'm saying, you was with Greg Street, you had the braids and whatnot, and you was stuttering, I thought you stuttered for real, right. but to my surprise, you talk like a regular person. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and I thought it was like a miracle that you'd be able to rap and just get past your stuttering and everything, right, but right. you don't do that, that was just you being creative. Yeah, me being creative, you know, I just wanted to... I just want to bring an aspect to you know all my music. I want to bring a concept to every song I do. I don't want no song to be identical to the other. So mm -hmm. I find different ways to market it and you know intrigue the listener. So I just thought I just stutter on there and then I put the skit around it. So you know most you know you got artists that go through different things to get on. You know what I mean? Some people may not be had a look or may not have a sound or you know what I mean may not fit the you know the typical you know rapper. So. That was just a situation that I put together to, you know, show how anybody can come through anything and just be dope. Mm -hmm. So, uh, would you say that, uh, that the Greg Street discovered you? Mm -hmm. Well, he might have been the most powerful per other than, you know, Boom and Akon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He might have been one of those who introduced me to the hip-hop world strong. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, shout out to Greg Street. I love him like a brother, an uncle. So you're a native of uh, Atlanta. Yeah, I'm born and raised. I can show you my birth certificate. I know a lot of people say they from Atlanta, but I went to Woodridge, Miller Grove, and Rita. I went to Miller Grove and Rita too. Man. I mean, I went to Miller Grove and Rita yeah, too. Yeah, you know, you see what I'm saying? So you know how we doing it. Side of Prince, man. Yeah, yeah, man. And dog, uh, you also had braids in there, man. Now you with Kanye. Side of Prince. Why you so nervous, dog? Stop being tipsy. You cut off your, your brains well, when you got with Kanye? Uh, how did that happen? Um, well, actually, you know, I was getting older and I was like, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, when you gonna cut your braids? I seen everybody else, like, you know, around me that was, you know, maturing, so I just felt like that was it was, a, it was the right time. I cut them in Miami mm -hmm. on the 1st of uh, January. One of them Puerto Rican girls there didn't treat you like that? No, no, not, not no Puerto Rican. I wish. But no, I just, you know, I just felt like it was some, something to do, a new look, you know what I mean, reinvention of myself. Mm -hmm. Plus, I felt like I was a prince, and um, this year I really wanted to uh, make an impact in, in, in the hip-hop industry. So I looked at it like, okay, what's the first thing you do when you enjoy the army? It gotta come off. Mm -hmm. it's, it's lyrical warfare, so. Wow. So that's, why, that's how I've been taking it this whole year, so. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rappers get nervous. The name Prince, man, has that always followed you? Uh... Yeah, a lot of people don't know. Um, I've been calling myself Prince. I was little. I was born on the same day as uh, Christopher Henry uh, from England, the, the Prince of England. I was born on the same day, uh, same year. We got the same birthday and same middle name. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. So how you hooked up with Kanye, man? Well, How does that happen? A guy uh, like from Redan, uh, Atlanta. God, first and foremost. Okay, okay. That was the first thing. Second thing, it was um, I uh, was on a record with a guy named Yellow Wolf. I don't know if you know Yellow Wolf. The white dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. don't do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always say this is my brother from another color. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Yellow Wolf and Peel. I was featured on a remix of his, and um, we shot a video and started traveling through the blogs. And you know, Kanye is a you know big person on the uh, blog and excuse me, hip hop scene. So. He seen me, he was like, I like the swag, I love his swag, and so, you know, he just, you know, expressed interest in me, and, you know, after that, it was just like, you know, Boo and L.A. Reed, by me being signed to Def Jam, it was a lot easier to make the transition. At the end of the day, it was just, you know, they linked it up, you know, he told me to get on the plane, I was on the first thing smoking. Mm. So, after that, it was just smooth sailing. Wow. Yep. Wow. So, I mean, well, we not seen you on the, um, the BET Hip Hop Awards, man. Red like Twizzlers, better known as MJ with the big nose. I swear your artist couldn't see me on his tiptoes. Mm. Throw it down in the cycle. Oh, thank man. you. Man. It was thank crazy. You. It had suit on and yeah, shit, man. Rosewood. 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 Right there, Rosewood. <laughs> Rosewood. What does that mean? I mean, it's just a lifestyle that we, you know, that we come. That Kanye really came up with it. Just a, a lifestyle, just showing discipline, and you know, what I mean, especially in young black men, you know, we like to wear the baseball caps and you know, mm. thing, you know. But at the end of the day. Ye is very um very diverse. He has a, a great taste for fashion and just different things on life. So mm. just teach you different things. It's like how you eat, how you dress, how you act, how you talk, walk, swag, everything. So mm. you know what I mean? We all it's all embodied in um the Rosewood movement. So mm. side of the Prince, I'm the leader of the Rosewood gang. Mm. So if you wanna come join, hit me up. 
Twitter, Side of Prince. Hey! And so who's all the uh, members of the Rosewood Gang? Uh, right now, the members of the Rosewood Gang, I got a few members on my end, but you know me, Big Sean, Pusha mm -hmm. T, you know what I mean, uh, Kid Cudi, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, different artists that's on the label, you know, Kanye, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. everybody down, so, you know, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, now what is something about you that people will be surprised to know? Um, surprised to know, um, I like gospel. Get out of here, you, you kinda, do you sing? Uh, I can hold a note. Um, Cause you talk like a gospel dude. Uh, you know, man, I don't really sing, but I can, I can hold a note. Oh, what? You know what I'm saying? What's just, your favorite gospel song? Oh man, I got a bunch of them. I just like the hymns, really. I just, yeah, you know, I grew up in the church, so it just, you know, sometimes, like even when you hear my music, you hear that. It ain't all the way street, and I'm 110 percent street. Mm. You know what I mean? I just know how to carry myself mm. into my upbringing. So, you know what I mean? I just, you know, I make it cool to be you. So, mm. whatever you want to be, though, you know, I just be myself and just, you know, get my thoughts and my my perspective, my perspective on uh, hip hop. What this is? This is a classic right here. Everybody have a good time. See, we got we got uh, a lot of liquor in the building. Is it gonna be an album or is it gonna be? You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh yeah, a mixtape. Side of Prince will be coming to you with an album, hopefully in 2011. But we're trying to do a uh, first thing. First quarter, first quarter, so. So we ain't gonna get no mixtape first. I mean, we gonna, you gonna get a couple more mixtapes, a couple more teasers, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna get the fans everything they want, so when I ask you to buy my album, I don't want it to be too tough for you to do it. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Who is Side Hot Prince? Well, a lot of people ask me, where did you get your name from? My real name is Sedell Young. It's spelled uh, C Y D E L. So I took the Dale off and uh, kept the C Y and took the H I off for Highness. Wow. So I put Side Hot. It's on. Sai, if you weren't rapping, what would you be doing right now? I would probably, I'd probably be in school because I was a standout in uh in sports. Mm -hmm. you know, I was standout in track and football, so I probably would have kept doing that. You know what I mean? And you know, if I wouldn't have been doing that, if boy, toting pistols and <laughs> you know what I mean, ducking, dodging jail. That's wow. Like two, That's pretty extreme, man. Hey. It will, it will, it will rub like that. Yeah, you coming absolutely, up on? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. What's some of the best advice you've ever got? Um, stay prayed up. That's that's the biggest advice. And um, be yourself and you know, be judgmental of certain people or, or like your surroundings. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Try to you know I me mean, stay focused and level headed and just keep pushing. You know what I mean? Just keep staying persistence is the biggest thing. A lot of a lot of artists be like, how did you get signed to Kanye? This and that. They they think I'm a new guy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I've been rapping forever. I just I always stayed prepared for the opportunity. And when it presented itself, I just took advantage of it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. You know, man, side of Prince in the building. This is 50.com.